friends welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is jackie i hope you hit that subscribe button and you're notified whenever i upload a new video let's get this thing started shall we hello welcome back to another book video i thought i would do my july reading wrap up plus my august tbr i thought i would combine them because it will just be quicker and i can get this out because i have a lot of backlog videos that i have to catch up on grab yourself a drink this is probably going to be a long one of me discussing all the books that i read in july plus the ones that I want to read in August. So I read eight books in total. I read a few on my Kindle and then some paperback books. Also, some of these are on KU, so does it count if I read on my physical TBR, but I read it on my Kindle? Who knows? I'm still gonna count it because I read it. But yeah, let's just get started on all the books I read. In June, I read 10 books. So I read two less than last month, but last month I was traveling and this month I had to get back to real life and just couldn't read that much. I mean, I still read eight books. So let me talk about the ones that I read. I'm going to do it in order. So this book is definitely a fun summer read. It is about Olive. She's the female main character. She has a twin, Amy. I think that's how you say it. It's spelled A-M-I, but I was just saying Amy in my head. And she is getting married. Amy's getting married to the love of her life. And she's like a very lucky person. Olive is not a lucky person. So Amy wins like all this stuff to have like the perfect dream wedding and Olive's the maid of honor. So of course like she has a big part in planning it and all that with her sister. And she has like this food aversion or doesn't like seafood and they want like a seafood catered buffet for the wedding so she doesn't like have to eat what they're eating and then at the wedding they get sick but the best man who is her enemy or she thought was like an enemy didn't like her who is the groom's brother so yeah it's really entertaining so i found it like really funny like they hated each other at first and like they slowly start to like like each other because everyone gets sick at the wedding except for the best man and the maid of honor because both of them put in like a special request and since Amy and Olive are twins they could like switch each other out so she can fly to Hawaii for their honeymoon and instead of like the bride and groom growing best man and the maid of honor got to go and it's just so fun I love the storyline it was a very quick weed and I really like enjoyed the banter between the two and like why she didn't like him and it was just really fun. I gave it a four stars, really enjoyed the book and I love Christina Lawrence writing. I read a few by her but I know there's a lot more books so definitely gonna check them out. So that was one of the first books that I read in July. The next book that I read is Happy Place by Emily Henry. So I took this with me to the beach on 4th of July. Actually, it's been a year since I started Emily Henry books. So I took Beach Read to the beach last 4th of July. So this year I had to take Happy Place to start it at the beach like I did last year. It is such a good read. I read it both on paperback and as well as my kindle i would read on my kindle and then i would read this during like lazy afternoons which is perfect i love this book it is so good so happy place is like a second chance romance between harriet and win and they were just so cute i love emily henry's characters so they go to like maine they are like college best friends it was so nice reading about that i wish i had like a group of friends from college to like go back and hang out with and like reminisce about the old days because i'm a person who does that a lot and Wynne and Harriet had broken up but they didn't tell their group of friends because they were like college sweethearts I guess is what you call it and they were together for a long time and they didn't want to like tell their friends that they were broken up so they pretended to get back together or pretended to be together I didn't cry like some people I like 
I really felt like how heavy that pain was like what Harriet was going through but it wasn't like a really hard cry for me but it was such a good book I loved it anyway yeah, I gave this a five stars so this is the third Emily Henry book that has five stars for me the only one that didn't was people we meet on vacation that was like a four star for me but the rest is like amazing I don't know if I could like rank all of these books I'm really not sure but I did love it so the next book that I read is the infinity between us and I read it on my kindle because it's part of kindle unlimited I heard that was a good summer book so I was reading it on my kindle while I was reading happy place and the unhoneymooners I just read a few chapters here and there but I did end up finishing it I gave it eight four stars so that one it really reminds me of Every Summer After and Love in Other Words. So it's one of those like past timeline, summer, lake house, beach house kind of like vibes. Will and Violet are childhood friends to lovers, I guess is what the trope for this one is. They rent a summer beach house and they go up to it but with both their families. Like it's one of those typical summer stories and at first I was like, am I gonna like this? Because I feel like I've read so many books like this and at least this one, I mean they all have like similar storylines and stuff like that but I did really enjoy this one. Uh, just added to the list of books like this that I read a lot apparently. So hopefully I don't pick up something like this next month. I promise myself next summer I'm going to find a read that isn't like this because yeah, it kind of gets boring after a while if you've read them so many times back to back. Please let me know. I'm not the only one who does that, who like reads a story and they're like, didn't I read this before? But it's like different names and characters and yeah. So I did enjoy this. I gave it a four stars. It was like not a quick read because I was reading it in between other books while I was getting those done. But I like the story. Next book is a duology I guess. So I read them back to back. To Love Jason Thorne and To Hate Adam Connor by Ella Mays. I bought these so long ago. Probably I bought the first one when I first started getting back into books and like 2021 I just love the cover this one's like an indie one and this is one where it got published I had no idea I did that so yeah we have those two pretty books but they're also on kindle unlimited so I got to read it on my kindle so technically I read books off of my physical tbr but they were also on my kindle which I am enjoying that reading this during the day and then having the kindle like at night brother's best friend as well so she technically grew up with him and Jason became like a movie star in the end after he moved away from their hometown they used to be neighbors and she always had a crush on him it was like a long time crush and she's like she like wished she could do something about it and she started writing a book and became an author and her book became like this huge big deal like movie producers wanted to make a film out of her movie so the guy they get to star in her movie is Jason Thorne and they reunite and it's just so cute and he has to he has a bad reputation in Hollywood and I guess that happens a lot in Hollywood where they like get you fake girlfriends but this one's like fake fiance so it had like marriage of convenience. It had marriage of convenience. It had so many tropes in this book that I love that it was like perfect for me. So I had to give it like a 4.75 stars. It was that good but it wasn't like a super 5 star read. I don't know. I can't explain my rating system. It was pretty good. Uh, this one is about Adam Connor and it's about Olive, the female main character. Wait, Olive? Wait, did I read two books this month that have the main character named Olive? I did. <laughs> okay, I thought I was going crazy like I was still talking about hone honeymooners. No, they're both named Olive. Okay, so Olive's best friend is in this book and this one's a lot crazier and wackier and I enjoyed it as well. I gave it a 4.5 stars I guess and it's just so fun. Like reading the back of it I was like mm, that doesn't seem okay but it really like 
it's really fun and I love like the banter in it and Lucy's just so crazy I don't know I didn't like her f like um when she was introduced in this book I thought she was too wild and eccentric but then I slowly grown to love her and then of course by her book I was just like really in love and I just it was so cute so this one had like single dad this one was it wasn't a nanny romance um they were neighbors I guess kind of romance but it was still cute I loved both these books so much and it was just such a fun read I recommend like reading them back to back because you can like continue the story and I just loved it. Now we're jumping back in to some Kindle reads. So I wasn't over with the duology with that. I wanted another duo. So I read Good Girl Complex and Bad Girl Reputation by L. Kennedy. I wanted to finish off with like my summer TBR and these two were like the only summer books that I feel like I really wanted to read that didn't have that like trope of the like something like the infinity between us so i read these two unfortunately i did not like these this is the lowest rating i have i gave good girl complex two stars it was just too immature which is really like they're not ya i feel like but they were just i don't know i didn't really like it it was like the avalon bay series so it's like this fictional like beach town called Avalon Bay and I thought I would like enjoy like this small town like romance with like a good girl and a bad boy because I'm really into those kind of books but for some reason this did not hit for me like Mackenzie the main character really wasn't like anything she was like a spoiled brat I just I don't know I didn't vibe with it Cooper was a little bit okay but I just did not vibe with the two characters and when I went into Goodreads I thought oh no everyone loves this book. I'm probably one of the ones who did not like it but after reading all the reviews after I read it I'm like okay I'm not the only one. Not a lot of people enjoyed it. Like a lot of people that I follow were giving it two stars so I didn't give it two stars because everyone else did. I just did it because I felt like it deserved two stars. I thought I was gonna give it three, but I was like, no, it didn't really. In you didn't really enjoy it. So I hate talking negatively about books, but maybe you'll enjoy it. I just I didn't vibe with it. I thought, you know what? Maybe it does deserve two stars. So I gave it that, and then I read the second book. There's three books in the series, but only two are available. On Kindle Unlimited so I read Bad Girl Complex and people were or Bad Girl Reputation some people were saying that it was a lot like better which it was I gave it a three stars it was about the twin brother so I read a lot of things in common this month two books had two main characters named Olive and then two books had two twins in it or twins in it. Evan and Cooper like I kind of understood them it was a little bit better but it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be so yeah I don't know it's up to you if you enjoy them I really loved the off-campus series when I read it and it was just so fun but I don't know why I didn't like the Avalon Bay series so am I gonna pick up the third book if it gets to Kindle Unlimited I probably will maybe next year but other than that I don't think so so those are the two that I finished off my July with. And then moving on, we have this book. So I have a neighbor who lives right beside me in the apartment complex. We became friends and she loves reading too, but her genre is m very different than mine. I'm a romance girly, as you can see. I enjoy stories like that. And she's more of a horror, true crime, thriller kind of reader so we were discussing um books one day and she's like let me like introduce you to this like a few books so you can like try out the genre and I'm like okay so I'm doing a reading vlog at the moment of books that she has picked out and that are not normally my reading taste so stay tuned for that reading vlog <laughs> that's exciting so I just finished this one last night it's taken me a while Normally, if I really enjoyed a book and everything, I could finish something like this in like a few hours. Like, 
I don't know. I could probably have done it in two, three hours, honestly. But I've been reading this for pretty much the whole entire month or a month and a half. And like I came back last month in June and she gave it to me a week after I got home. So yeah, I've had it for a while. I picked it up. It's not really my story type, which was the point. Um, but it's about Lori Cranston. She's a 15 year old runaway. So she kind of doesn't have like a good life. Her mom is going off with like all these horrible dudes and I kind of understand her. I would want to get away from something like that. And she has these fixations on things. So she'll like go after like a certain somebody and like stalk them almost. So yeah. And then we have the, it's not even, I can't even say the love interest because I don't think that's what it is. It's his name is Eric Poole and he is an 18 year old serial killer. Yes, you read that right. He is a serial killer. So I've read some dark romances in my day, a, f a few. I'm not an expert. So you would think, oh, okay, he's a serial killer. Like I can buy with that because of the other books that I read, right? Like in books, it's like totally normal, I guess. Like if you like the dark romance, I'm still not like the biggest dark romance kind of person so like I pick and choose what I really want to read and so Eric Poole just gets out of juvie because he went in when he was 15 and he had like a three-year sentence so it technically was in prison um so he got out and then the detective who was following his case is following him and his point of view is in third person and hers is in first person so you get her thoughts and stuff which honestly the premise of everything like I guess I enjoyed it because I could like hate the people in this book I guess if an author can make you not like someone I guess they achieve that but it just wasn't my cup of tea I was trying to explain it in my reading vlog about this and I don't know. I gave it a two stars. It wasn't something that I would pick up. I'm glad that she recommended it to me and like told me to try something else. And yeah, now I get to return it to her because it is her copy. Am I going to buy my own copy? No. I read it. I, I, I can't say that I enjoyed it because I didn't enjoy it, but it was a good experience getting to read something that I didn't thing to pick up in the first place. So that was the last book I read. Now we can move on to all the books that I want to read in August. I picked 10 books out. I have five on my Kindle and five paperbacks. So I can read them simultaneously. I try to like read a physical book and then a book on my Kindle. I'll start with the paperbacks that I already own first. They keep sliding off. Can they just stay in a stack? All these books were in my book haul from last month. So that's surprising. I'm going to read books from my book haul. Usually if I do a book haul, I read like one or two from that pile. But this is like all from the books that I bought last month. So first off, I really want to read When in Rome and practice makes perfect. I heard so many good things about this, which we have the tatted bad boy and the good girl. And just, just this cover looks amazing. So I'm gonna read them back to back. I love doing that. So yeah, we have those two. I have Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. So as I was saying, every summer after I read last summer and I did like it but it had like a similar story to the ones that I previously mentioned. So is this like the same thing or is this a continuation to every summer after? I have no clue. I bought it because I loved every summer after and plus the book cover, which I know I shouldn't be doing, but I still do anyways. Okay. It doesn't really sound like they were childhood friends to lovers, but they did know each other before. So yeah, it sounds like it is different. It isn't like a continuation. I'm not sure. I'm going to do more research. I'll let you know in next month's reading wrap up. But yeah, I guess I'm going to read this one and I'll let you know my thoughts on it. Then we have this book, Once More with Feeling. And again, this is going to be another like singer, pop star, rock star, whatever you call this kind of romance. 
I loved Funny You Should Ask, honestly. Like, it was pretty good. Um, a lot of people, like, hate it. I didn't hate it. I wasn't, like, the hugest fan of it. I, but I wasn't, like, a hater of it, if you know what I mean. So, this sounds interesting. And then we're moving on to the last physical book that I'm going to read. Sounds interesting and such a cute cover. Hopefully I get to read this. So, I'm excited for that. And that is all five physical paperback books that I want to read in August. I'm usually pretty good with sticking to my TBR. A lot of people that I watch are not. I technically am pretty good. Like I set up a TBR which I know I really want to read. I'll add in like some other stuff in there or might not get to some stuff but I do end up getting to it eventually. Now we're moving on to the Kindle reads. I read on my Kindle quite a bit. I've read for, as I'm filming this, 170 days, I think, since I last got my Kindle. I need to film a Kindle update because it has been six months since I got the first one. I feel like I want to start. It's kind of not summary, kind of is, is done and dusted. Here we go. This is what it looks like on my Kindle. It is done and dusted by Lila Sage and I do love a good cowboy romance. Ever since the, ever since I picked up the Chestnut Spring series, I'm all about the cowboy life like everyone else on Book Talk. Totally can't wait for this read. So yeah, I'm gonna let you know how I like that. The next book on my TBR is On the Shore by Laura Pavlov. I started the Cottonwood Cove series. I think that's what it is or just Cottonwood. No, Cottonwood Cove series. I'm correct. And I can't wait to like go into the third book. I think this one is like sports romance. The first one was Brother's Best Friend. The second one was office, an office romance, enemies to lover situation, um, boss, uh, employee. I'm hoping this one is good. It really reminds me of the Eden series because they're all like siblings as well. And like you follow each sibling and like their story. So I really enjoy that aspect of it. That's why I'm enjoying the series. And then next we have Divine Rivals. I joined like a book top book club and this is the book of the month uh, for it. So I hear this is like everyone's like most anticipated read for the month or like coming up because it's like a fantasy romance and I want to get more into fantasy romances and it just sounds so interesting with like a magical typewriter and it's like a little it has a little bit of historical romance in there so I don't know I just wanted to again get out of my comfort zone it sounds like something I would not pick up in the first place but I would eventually get to but joining that book club really forces me to like actually like pick it up and read it so hopefully i do end up reading it and i'll let you know like my thoughts next we have out on a limb by anna young bonem young i think is how you pronounce her name so this is again another book talk favorite i actually think it's something that i would enjoy it's like one night stand accidental pregnancy friends to lovers and it sounds like something that I would enjoy reading. And then the last book on my August TBR and hopefully I can get to it. I think I wanted it to read it last month but I just never got around to it. It's Call It What You Want by Alisa De Rogatis. Hopefully I'm saying that right. So yeah, it sounds pretty good. Um, I don't really understand what it's about. I hear it's like a, about a situation ship. And I was in a situation ship. I don't know if I could relate to it, but I honestly wanted to read it. So I have a few from my July TBR that I never got to, which are on here as well. So if I get to it, I get to it. I'll see. I have like eight books on my Kindle that I can read at the moment. So if I'm not feeling something, I can just switch. But I usually tend to take stick to a TBR honestly I don't understand why but 
yeah those are all the books that i read in july plus the books that i want to read in august i hope you enjoyed this chatty book video i will list everything that i mentioned down below in the description as well as all my social medias if you want to follow my book talk my bookstagram they're down below please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you in my next video bye everyone bye.